So let's talk about breakup, a phenomena that happens or we label it when a relationship ends. A relationship when the mutuality dissolves, when at least out of the two people, one person feels that this relationship is not serving my needs or this relationship is no longer what it is that it was. Or if the pain or the tumult or the arguments are so bitter and so painful that there is a decision that almost is reached that, okay, let's let's part ways. And one person is left feeling on the altar, totally dumbfounded or shocked sometimes. And the other person takes that decision to, okay, let's, let's end this. The person who is left behind is the person who is hurt. But actually, again, like as a psychologist, when I see the humanity on both the sides is hurt. Whether the person who has initiated the breakup or the person who has received the news of the breakup, there are very rarely, they do call it mutual breakup and mutual parting of ways. But 90% of the times there's one person left gapping and the other person is the one who wants out, who has decided, that's it, this is done, I'm out. Breakup is painful, a breakup is a messy affair. And by very nature of it, it is a very, very unfair affair. It, there, there is no perfect way to script it, to deliver it right. So you may sit there and think that, oh my God, but she could have done this gently. Oh my God, he could have been kind about it. But there's nothing kind, there's nothing sweet, there's nothing perfect, there's nothing right, there's nothing gentle about a breakup. Breakup hurts. Breakup brings with it lots and lots of aches. So be prepared when you do get into a breakup. There are these stages, there are these phases that you will go through. Not Maybe not all, but most of them. Knowing about it will help you know how far you have come from the initial phase. So let, let's look into the five phases of breakup. It's there whenever there's a loss. So whenever you feel a loss of the relationship, you're going to go through these uh, five stages. Mind you, not all. Sometimes you may be in a span of one day, you may go through all these stages. Or sometimes it will be like you'll stay in one particular stage for a very long amount of time. Ensure that you don't stay in any state for a very long amount of time. But here the five stages are for your uh, quick reference. The first stage is denial. Denial is a defense mechanism that our mind takes over when the rejection is so painful, the reality is so painful that we don't want to deal with it. And so the first initial thing is, no, it can't be. This cannot be happening. No, 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 I don't agree. I don't believe it. I don't, I refuse to listen to you. So there is a complete denial of accepting the reality. This is your first and initial response. The second response is generally anger. The moment this starts seeping in that, yes, this relationship that I cherish so much is over. This relationship where I had a status in front of all my friends is over. This relationship which brought me so much of uh, love and caring for me is over. This relationship in which I invested so much is over. And that is the time a lots and lots of anger spills out. How can she do this? How can he do this? Did he not care at all? Or what, what was it all a fake? What is all this thing? Nonsense. And this, this is the phase that you need to be very careful because this is also the phase where you want to kind of get even, kind of through your anger at someone, you will find yourself fighting with your friends who are trying to talk to you. Maybe they are the ones who come up with, I told you so, or maybe they, they were not in agreement with the relationship already. So they would have their uh, time in the sun kind of a thing and tell you that, oh, I already told you this relationship is not good for you, or you were not paying attention to the red flag. And that will increase your annoyance and vexation a lot, a lot. And this is also the time when you, you may go into that a lane of bitterness and revenge. Pull yourself out of it. Please do not get into this. And so it's it pays to recognize that it is the anger phase that is going on. The third phase will be bargaining. Now this is the bittersweet phase where after the denial, after the anger, the memories of the good times, the memories of the bad times, everything comes out. And so you enter the bargaining phase. You may want to call that person back again. You may text that person back again to ask for one more chance or to kind of work it out. out. Or you may send messages through your uh, network if you have mutual friends giving out feelers that you want to get back again. And again, be very careful in this stage because 
you have started moving out of this relationship these mixed feelings are very natural but if you go back into the same land you will still have to deal with the same baggage that caused the breakup in the first place so be extremely careful stay with this bargaining phase stay with this urge to negotiate to put things right or try and find out okay this was my fault i'll be better next time or I'll, it, it just didn't work out that's what you have to accept the fourth stage comes is the depression stage you have bargained you have angered you have gone into denial now comes the stage of feeling extremely sad of losing what you held very very dear so you will feel completely uh, how do you say stranded and you may cry you may mope this is also the time to hear sad songs, I would say, or sit and talk about all those lovely things. You may go back to the letters or texts that you are shared together or the pictures that you are had and you will cry a lot. The last stage is your acceptance stage. This is the stage where you start thinking that, okay, this relationship is over. There's nothing I can do about it and I, had to, I have to move on now. Or at least accept that this relationship is over and you will cease your efforts to kind of stitch it back together or bargain it out into negotiating to take one more chance. You realize finally it's over. And as you can see in all of these, the presence of others, the presence of uh, friends or relatives, they are the ones who are going to kind of entangle or complicate the matter. This is your hurt. This is your pain. So yes, Talk to people who you really, really trust. But this is the time to be alone in a way to kind of integrate, process the loss and integrate into your experience. This is also, you, you may journal your feelings. You can, uh, how do you say, sit together, go through everything. Let go of those things which remind you of them again and again. You can keep those special things which were really, really valuable to you. But try and give away Maybe don't stalk them on social media because the more you see, the more pain you cause yourself. So it's better to kind of keep away from those kind of interactions, the uh, indirect interaction that your friends being, the mentions, try and keep them at the minimum. Yes, you could hear uh, sad songs. They, they will help you because these emotional things you need to move through. You can't shun them. You can't shut them. You can't repress them. So what you can do is, Find a stimuli which helps you process the loss that you have felt. The questions that you want to word out. These songs of whatever orientation you like, you can listen to them. You can journal out your feelings as I have already said. And accept. Accept one very deep thing. You loved and you lost. That means in this loss, if you can find that meaning that you have this deep capacity to love, Maybe things didn't work out this particular time because of so, so, so reasons. But the capacity, the innate capacity to love another human is present in you. And this capacity is wiser now, tender now, more mature now. And so when it lands again with another human, you have a far better and a stronger chance of bonding deeply, wisely and tenderly. And yes, this breakup should give you that hope that because you have this tendency to love, you will again gravitate to the person who will be able to receive you in all your glory. So let the breakup be just a stop kept lesson for you to learn something about yourself. Process the emotion. That is the gamut of human existence that we have all used and all emotions. This is one emotion that you have been allowed to go through and also feel the depth of love. And you will love again. That's a promise.